Hi everybody. Um, this video is centered around leveled questions and at one point or another if you are a student of mine, no matter which class you are in, um, we will be talking about these leveled questions. So I want you to watch and pay attention to this video um, possibly more than once. Um, then we will talk about it in class and then after that I would like we will probably refer to it often so I'd like you to feel like you have a really good understanding of uh, what these what these are the different levels um, this I'm going to start by just reading you the introduction it says proficient readers actively revise their understanding of the text and its importance as they read so especially because I have English language learners, but also um, native speakers may need help breaking down a sentence such as this. So proficient reader. So this means that you are a successful reader. Um, you read often and well. And what does it mean to read well? Um, we'll talk about that in class a lot, but it doesn't just mean um, reading quickly. Maybe you have a friend who can read very quickly, um, but some readers read very slowly and they are good readers. Um, reading slowly does not mean that you're a poor reader. It means you're a careful reader and, um, and being careful is good. Uh, if you can do that quickly and you still catch everything, um, that's amazing too, that's great. So, but proficient readers, a good reader, actively revises his or her understanding. So what does that mean? Um, so active, first of all, you'll hear me call um, reading active reading often, like put that adjective in front, active reading. Well, the difference is um, active reading and non-active reading. Um, I could, tell me if you've ever done this, I could read a whole page from top to bottom, be, that start at the beginning, read every word on the page, and not be able to tell you anything about it. Um, because I was thinking about lunch, or because I was thinking about um, my bad day that I was having, or something like that. Um, has that ever happened to you? Where you can, you've read everything, but you cannot um, retell it because you didn't comprehend it. Um, Active reading means being very aware, very present, very engaged, like um, like you're having a conversation with the writer. Um, you're paying close attention. Active reading can look like highlighting certain things or taking notes. Um, and it can also just be a very um, mental, a very careful mental process. So even if you're not writing um, or taking notes, you can be actively reading. If you're careful and thoughtful and you're in the present moment and not daydreaming about something else. Um, now that's active. Then it says that proficient readers actively revise their understanding. Well, we're going to talk about revision a lot this year because you're going to revise your writing. So in this way, revise, um, think about what does re mean? again and vise think about vision so to see something again um, to see something in a different way to change something um, so actively revising your understanding means that you are busy thinking and maybe you understood something you read a sentence and you understand it one way but as you gather more material as you read more maybe some clues lead you to realize, oh, that's not what it meant. It meant this instead of this. Because you, as you got new information, your understanding was revised. It was changed. Um, and then it's, it's importance. Um, you revise your understanding of the text and its importance as you read. Next sentence. After a close reading, sorry, I should, I'm pointing and I'm new at this. After a close reading, um, often I will call it active uh, reading, and close reading is the same thing. Think about close. Um, think about it's close to you. You are um, 
you're close to it because you are thinking about it and nothing else, okay? After a close reading, they can express a cogent synthesis of the overall meaning of the text and evaluate it in light of other texts and experiences, the goal for all readers. Okay, the lovely college board is who we're quoting here. Um, they can express, they as you, the reader, a cogent synthesis of the overall meaning. So an accurate synthesis. Synthesis is when you take um, the text and all of your background experience that helps you to comprehend the text and you synthesize. Those things come together to form your interpretation and your understanding of the text. Um, and evaluate it in light of other texts and experiences. So when you read anything, you are um, making either subconscious or conscious connections to every other thing you've read, um, other experiences you've had, just living experience. Um, and so you're, you're making connections as you read with uh, your, the new information you're reading and all of the Putting at the back of your head, background knowledge, which your prior knowledge is everything you've learned and experienced up to this point. So I'm going to pause this. Let's call that the introduction. And, um, and you can go get a drink and then watch part two, which actually explains the three levels that we're going to talk about. Thanks.